greetings from the Sunshine State. Today I'll be using up some of my leftover paints and I'll be doing a Dutch pour, a type of Dutch pour, using the hair blower. I have a, an 18 by 24 canvas ready to go, taped up in the back, push pins to hold it off the surface. And I have my um, protection against splattering paint all over my walls and floor using this um, kitty pool that I got at Hayes Hardware last summer when it was on sale. I think I got it for like three dollars. I cut the bottom out and I just used the walls and then I cut a partition out or part of it out so that I can work and then when I do um, use the blow dryer for the Dutch pour I can just put this in front so that I don't splash all over everywhere else. So this is going to be called one of two titles. Everything but the kitchen sink or spring cleaning. <laughs> using, using up all my old paints. Well not all of them, I still have quite a few left. But um, I've never used paints this thin before, so we'll see how this works. These are a combination of various colors. Um, even I, I even threw in some acrylic inks that I had left over from when I was doing my Misty Mountain scenes. So... Actually, they've thickened up a little since I just stirred them a couple minutes ago. So they're not as thin as I thought they were. And my base paint is also everything but the kitchen sink. It's a combination of off-white, beigey house paint, um, various titan titanium white brands and even some satin enamels from Deco Art so and Floetrol so we'll see how what this consistency is like it's hard when it's in a bottle this is actually an almond milk bottle sexy shape but it's um, great for pouring base um, puddle paints Not as thin as I thought it would be. And it's full of bubbles. Bubbles and little pieces of something. Their bubbles.
you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. Here I'm adding leftover cell activator in gold and indigo blue. My plan was to place the center of the flower in the corner of the canvas and just have a cross section of a big flower. So here's a close-up of the partial flower. Unfortunately, the sides of the kiddie pool didn't prevent the paint from spraying all over my tile floor that wasn't already covered in plastic. So just yesterday I finished scrubbing and scraping the tiny spots off. What a pain.
That's it for today. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.